you want to come to Shepherd because this is what we do. This is our expertise. And I can guarantee you're not going to get better care. The entire team really has a common goal, and our common goal is always the patient. The beauty of Shepherd is there's that full-on commitment. We're going to make sure you go as far as you need to go. If I had a loved one experience a catastrophic injury, I wouldn't want them to go to a place that had seen one or two of these. I would want them to go to the experts. We don't say never here at Shepherd Center. Shepherd Center had a strange beginning for sure. Our son James had just graduated from college and decided to have a trip while he could. In Rio de Janeiro, he caught a wave which threw him into the ocean floor, breaking his neck instantly. We learned that there was special care for spinal cords in Denver, and so we went out there, and it was like night and day. He was talking to two other people here in Atlanta who'd been in the same facility, and they said, well, there should be something in Atlanta, and it kind of went around the block a few times. Yeah, somebody ought to start something. Somehow, that somehow became us. We survived in lease space for seven years before we could raise enough money to buy the property on Peachtree Road. And it's been a building effort ever since. We have continued to expand, to get better care, to have more programs. They didn't set out originally to say, oh, I'm gonna build a hospital out of nowhere. They saw a need, and Alana and Harold said, the heck that this is not gonna be available for more people. We're one of two standalone rehab facilities in the entire country that focus exclusively on spinal cord injury and brain injury. Because of that, we see a high volume of patients with these injuries, which makes us experts in their treatment. No other facility or organization has a continuum of care that we have. We see traumatic brain injury, spinal cord injury, but we also do other types of acquired brain injuries, such as brain tumors, infections, strokes. Every person who works here is trained and has extensive experience in those areas. The other thing that really makes Shepherd Center unique is the fact that we have an ICU, so we can take patients who are much more complex very early on. We take patients on ventilators, so they are up and getting the rehab just like anybody else. We have a spinal cord injury peer support program and a brain injury peer support program. We have two wonderful ladies who've had children that have come through the hospital here, and they know what it's like to have a patient here with a brain injury, and they help talk the family through how to navigate the process. My family was here at Shepherd Center about five and a half years ago. And in my early days, I kept being urged by our lovely family therapist to go to a peer support meeting. And I kept thinking I didn't want to relive it again. And I finally said to myself, you know what, I'm going to go, and found out that it was pretty amazing to take this nightmare that had happened to our family and use it for good. This is a place that's going to take care of not just the patient, but the entire family. The family is integrated into the care model so that when they go home, we know they're the main caregivers. They need to be equipped. We actually provide housing to anybody who comes from more than 60 miles away. And we have recognized that the ability for a family to be here and participate in their care and learn what they're doing through the rehabilitation process is part of our success. So for our high-risk patients, we have a transition support program, and they will follow our patients for up to 60 days. They can extend past that if they want to, uh, but they're helping them make sure that they transition home safely. That program is integral in our readmission rate, which is 5%, which is exceptionally low, and I think that speaks to not only the fact that we take care of our patients here, but we also train them and teach them what to do when they go home and so they know how to take care of themselves. Our patients who finish their inpatient program here and continue to have rehabilitation needs can move on to Pathways, which is our post-acute brain injury program. We lead the country in complexity. We lead the country in return to work, return to life. And in order to do that, it took volunteers. We could not do what we do today without the foundation. All the monies they raise really go towards things that insurance doesn't cover. They don't cover recreation therapy. They don't cover our shared military program. They don't cover housing. And those value-added services really differentiates us. It's the largest recreational therapy program in the country. I cannot imagine looking at a patient and saying, oh, you can't expect any further recovery. You just have to be satisfied with where they are. Recreational therapy is about how you improve cognitive and mobility function. It's about how you reclaim that life.
Glad you're here. Thank you for everything your family does. You're welcome. It's amazing. It's pretty neat what you've done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For Thanks for saying thousands, that. Thousands of people you've helped. Well, I appreciate that. It's pretty neat. I think my favorite thing at Shepherd is that people do have eye contact. They do greet you, and it is a friendly place. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Yeah. Is Brian treating you all right? Oh, yeah, he's treating me great. That's one of my favorite things is the, the attitude of the staff. Staff is amazing, and they, like, the support that they give you is pretty phenomenal. Okay, that's great. I think what makes us very special and sets us apart are, number one, our employees, our staff. Our culture is also something that's very unique and sets us apart. We like to have a lot of fun. This place is special. Everybody you meet in Shepherd Center smiles. My husband kept saying, these people are like the happiest people on earth. We build relationships here. When I see a patient, for me, it's almost like somebody that is going to become a friend. I can see that person later on, two, three, five years from now, and they're like, hey, Thomas, how you doing? I don't know many hospitals that will go to the, to the lengths that Shepherd does to make each person happy and truly get them back to doing what they love. The network that we've created here at Shepherd is second to none. Our staff here are just phenomenal. It's, it's just a phenomenal place to work. When I found that I had a spinal cord injury and realized that my life was gonna be different, Shepherd Center was the ambassador to this new world and they were comforting. Uh, the energy that the staff emitted from the first moment of, hey, we know brain injury, we get it. It is culture. I felt it from moment one, and it's still something I feel at this moment. It's an incredible culture. You have to be here to experience it. It's a culture of hope, hard work, humor. Did they tell you that you shouldn't be wearing Alabama? They said wear it every day. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you should be wearing. <laughs> the people here are passionate about instilling hope. If you come here, you're part of the Shepherd family, and you'll be a part of the Shepherd family forever. It's a family in the truest sense of the word. People actually say hello. They actually look you in the eye. They care about you. It's the culture of goodness and kindness and genuine hope for the best outcome for people whose lives have been flipped upside down. That's the special sauce. Shepherd is a series of people writing love letters and prayer cards for their loved ones. And there's something beautiful and special about that.